guys, welcome to another Coach Dave Academy lap guide from me, James Armstrong from Brand Me Sports. Today I'll be showing you week three of the Formula IRO4 series around Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, we're going to go look through the hot lap now. So it's crucial in the last corner for the hot lap that you get a good exit. If you're just starting a qualifying lap, for example, you want to try avoid the curbs because they make the car bounce and you lose a bit of time and run it out right to the wall, as you can see, to get the most speed down the main straight. Down the main straight, just keep the car to the right, going through these grid boxes, shorter distance, it's a bit faster. And now coming into turn one, you want to break I sort of use, as I just pass this sort of extra tarmac bit here, hard on the brakes, about halfway through it before the next grass section. Hard on the brakes, turn it in at the end of this grass section here, or the end of the runoff, start of the grass. You want to use about half of this inside kerb, or maybe just a bit more, any more than this, and you get an off track if you touch um, this grass here. And the car just tang of goes over the curb all nice you get a bit of a bounce but it's nothing to worry about and then you want to instantly flick it back in for the next right hander and hook it right up on top of the curb as you're hooked on the curb it pulls the car around the corner and allows you to get on power nice and early for a strong exit down the straight sort of middle of the track just the shortest line to the next corner this little chicane I break just as these tyre markings are on the on the track are about 150 metres on the boards on the left. Once again, about 70% on the brakes. And then tip it in. You want to use as much of this inside kerb as possible. Just like that. You don't get an off track unless you touch the grass again. And then tip back into the left. You can, if you go a bit quick on the right, you can go over the grass with your wheels without an off track or without getting the car loose and then once again just bring it out to the wall nice and gentle and then onto the next straight again shortest line possible keep it nice and tight on the right now this corner can be quite tricky so you want to break again i kind of break just as the the tire markings the skid markings are coming up on the track or just before the end of this white barrier Breaking a straight line, bring it over to the right, quite heavy on the brakes again. And this one is quite a tricky one because if you hook this curb, the car bounces quite badly. But if you don't, sometimes the rear end can slide like it did for me. So it's sort of a balance of if you want it to be safer, you can hook the curb up a bit and lose a bit of time on the exit. Or you can be a little bit quicker, but have a little bit of a slide in the mid corner, as you can see. And then again, just 
flat out from the exit. So if you hook the curb actually, then you can do this bit flat because I got a little slide, it wasn't quite flat out. And then once again, bring it out to the wall for the straight, shortest line possible. All the way down. This corner again can be quite tricky. You want to break just before this two board or just on the uh, where the extra tarmac is. As you can see, heavy on the brakes again, but 90% just on the edge of locking up the tyres. Keep it to the left. Be careful not to run into this extra tarmac because you'll hit the grass and the car will spin. Turn, start to bring the turn in and the brake lower when the extra tarmac runs out. You can just clip this inside kerb with your front tyre like that. And this kerb, you can properly drive over it and then run it out to the wall. Just like that. Just allows running over this curb just allows you to bring more entry speed in and you don't damage the car, so you can do it every lap. Down the straight again, bring it over to the left in preparation for the hairpin. This corner is crucially you get a strong exit, so you want to brake just before the two board or just on the 200 meter board. Very hard on the brakes, bring the speed right down. I turn in quite late. Hook up the apex right in the mid corner, just like this. You don't want to get on the curb because it can loosen the rears a bit. Get on power nice and early, bring it out to the wall, and then just straight line it down the, down the straight. Keep it to the right, shortest distance possible is faster. Now the chicane, this is a very fun corner and very easy to get wrong as well. But once you get it right, it is very rewarding. So coming in, you want to break just before the 200 meter board. Like that, just before the 200. Car as far to the left as you can. Really heavy on the brakes, 95%. Just before the tyres lock up. You want to bring it in. You want to sort of aim for where the kerb has the tyre markings on here. As you can see in the chase. Front tyres, just clip where the tyre markings are. The left kerb, you can properly launch the car over it. On the power run it right out to the wall as you can see it's very close to actually hitting the wall of champions very very close but it just allows you to carry so much speed through the chicane when you hit that curb full power right out to the wall and down the straight you go and keep it to the right for the shortest distance possible and that was a hot lap of circuit gilles villeneuve in the formula ir04 there we have it guys, a full on-track analysis of driving the Formula IR04 around circuit Gilles Villeneuve. I hope everyone at home finds this really useful for the upcoming races of the 2023 Season 2 IR04 Challenge Fixed. We will continue to produce lap guides for the rest of the season. Please be sure to check out more lap guides, top quality setups and coaching over at coachdaveacademy.com or visit their extremely useful Discord for more advice. Catch you all soon.